said you chill. <laughs>
Also, I had got the I'm about to write a book, The Therapist, where lifetime I'm ready to tell my story. So whatever this is, like I said, it could be going on for six or seven years, six or seven months, or within six to seven days, something will be popping off. Okay. Um, you you have went through a lot of lessons, a lot of testimonies. Like I said, seven is the number of completion, six is the number of birthing. You are ready to tell your story. You are ready to let all of this out. All right. Five oh Five on my clock. Ten. All right. And last but not least, we have the R and B in the reverse. All right. What What does that stand for? Rough and Black Cadillac Records. Okay, so somebody doesn't want anything um, black and rough no more. They don't want to be in this dark energy no more. They don't want to be in this low vibrational energy no more. They don't want to be in this toxic energy no more. They are letting go of the rough and rugged and searching for something new. And we are going to tap into that. All right. And on the top of the deck, we have the three of staffs in reverse. Okay. So like I said, you took somebody, um, I'm here to share my world, don't you ever leave, promise I'll be here, and you'll be loving me, la 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 la, share my world. Like somebody's trying to offer you a world that you are no longer interested in anymore. That's what I'm getting with that. You might have crushed somebody's world. You are no longer, um, you no longer care about this situation. Like, the judgment on the situation, the, the decision has been made. Like I said, whatever these final contracts is, whether it's cord cutting or starting new um, contracts, some, something, when one door closes, another one opens. I always say when one door closes, three more open, but you know, <laughs> that's just how I roll, baby. Testimony to that, because yeah, you could be a testimony to that. Whereas Lifetime, you ready to tell your story. You ready to tell your story about the stability that you done built with whoever you're coming into this contract with or um, along with the people that you met along the way, even though a lot of it you had to do on your own. Take it how it resonates. Oh, lovers in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody is no longer interested. <laughs> yeah, four cups. The magician in reverse. Yeah, somebody is no longer interested in whatever this endeavor was. Whatever magic they had over you, like I said, the cord cutting has been cord cutted. Whatever they wish on your stability is not going to happen. Okay. Switch it back, you said. All right. Okay, so the way this is coming out, I have the three of pentacles over the magician in reverse. So that there's no folly over whatever this new contract is. Everything is going to be clear cut open to what is going the fuck on. Okay, there's not going to be no smoky cameras or none of that. All right. This is how this is coming out. With this, I'm about to write a um, book, The Therapist, where lifetime at. I'm ready to tell my story. Okay. Um, somebody could be not wanting you to tell this story because the role that they play in it. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Some of these people might not want you to tell your story because of the role they play in it. They probably want you to turn down these um, opportunities, these contracts or something like that. They don't want you to leave. And start a new book. Because once you write that book, you off to the next lessons and the next journey to write your next book. These people don't want you to do that. They want you to stay stuck in the Alice in Wonderland type shit. The R&B coming out rough and black with the lovers in reverse. Like I said, you are not interested in the level of toxicity that you were in. You are not interested no more. Rough and black, Cadillac Records. All right. 
So, on to the songs, you guys. Because I just wanted to let y'all know, like, where we was at with that. Yeah. And you left this opportunity and crushed these person's dreams because you wanted to fulfill your own cup. You wanted to fulfill your own cup. And the judgment was turning down this Knight of Pentacles energy. They try to act like they're not a Knight of Pentacles, but they are. Very petty, very malicious, very bring you up, bring you down-ish. But let's look into it. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles reverse suggests that you should stop wasting energy on people who can't appreciate you. Stop throwing good money after bad. Cease wasting your blood, sweat, and tears on enterprise dominated by people who can't appreciate you. In this instance, you would benefit the whole situation by moving on instead of being a loyal instead of being loyal and true. Basically what I just said, like you have no more fucks to give to this situation. Period. Period. Point in the blank. And you're still going to get your stability. And somebody is trying to come in and fight. They want to argue. They want to come in and try to sex you down. Use wang magic. Okay, but all of this shit is just folly ass and the toxicity that you don't want. And I'm hearing that the best man win because at the end of the day, like I said, you're you're victorious with somebody. So somebody coming in one way and another man coming in another way. Or one opportunity coming in one way and another opportunity coming in another way. Take it how it resonates. Or we got three different people because we got pinnacle, we got the knight of pinnacles, we got the knight of um swords and the knight of wands. So you can have three different opportunities, people, places, or things after you at this moment. Confirmation 618 on my clock. 618 could mean something to you. You could have met somebody June 18th. I'm hearing somebody could be born in 68 or 61. They could be born in June, January, or August. So we have um that would be what? Capricorn, Aquarius. We got um what I say? That's for January. Six, we got what? Gemini, Cancer. And eight, that would be um, Leo. What, Leo, August, September? Yeah, Leo, Virgo. So these could be um, people that's on the cups or a whole that type of energy to them. All right, so let's tap into the songs. We already 12 minutes in, 12.55. We're just on my clock. All right, so the first song that I got uh, was Michael Jackson, Lady of My Life. Okay? Okay. I'm just going to give you all a playlist, and we're going to tap into this Michael Jackson song. I got um, also Michael Jackson, Liberian Girl. Michelle Something in my heart. Chris Brown popping and your man ain't me. OJ's forever mine. And Tina Marie out on a limb. All right. So I feel like this is the back and forth. So we got the Michael Jackson, the Chris Brown, and the OJ's as the masculine energy. And we got the Michelle A and Tina Marie as the feminine energy. All right, go tap into those songs because they have a lot of information in them. I'm going to get into this Michael Jackson song though first, y'all. He says, There be no darkness tonight, only your love will shine, lighting the light. You put your trust in my heart. And um, meet me at paradise. Now is the time, girl. You're every wonder in this world to me. 
A treasure time won't steal away. So listen to my heart. Lay your body next to mine. Let me fill you with my dreams. I can make you feel alright. And baby, through the years, I'm gonna love you more each day. So I promise you tonight that you will always be the lady in my life. Okay? So these could be previous people that you, people, places, and things that you were connected to. Cause I'm hearing him my mind. I'll always be his lady. In my mind, I'll always be his girl. Heather Headley. Yeah. Cause you turned somebody world upside down with the Will of Fortune in reverse. And he proceeds to go on. He wants this girl to stay. He said, I want you to stay with me. I need you in my life. Don't you go nowhere. You're my lady and I love you, girl. I love you. I need you. I want you to stay with me. Don't you go nowhere. And also in Liberian, girl, he kept pleading that the motherfucker don't go nowhere. So whoever these people place the thing is, they don't want you to go nowhere. They know you got a plan up your sleeve for this stability. And they are trying to stop it at all costs with all these foolish ass games. Okay? But your cup will run it over. And when it does, these people will be crushed. Upside down. Sleep don't come easy. Boy, please believe me. Ever since you've been gone, everything's going wrong. Why you had to say goodbye? Look what you've done to me. I can't stop these tears from falling from my eyes. Oh, baby, I'm going down. Okay, Mary J. Bly, stop fucking playing with her. Okay? And to share my world, Mary J. Bly, stop playing with her. Okay? She's like, something in my heart. Something in my heart has got me hooked on you. Oh, listen, baby. There will be no questions. We should be together. Oh, yeah. No one could tell me different. Baby, don't you? The changes I'm going through, you know I'll never be the same. Your love touched me so. There's no one else to blame but you. Oh, you. Something in my heart. It's got me hooked on. Yeah, like, listen, I'm hearing the passion is there. Like, you like, okay, but it's more good stuff out there. But, like, whatever it is, it's like, sex with different people be different. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the sex is so passionate, it, it, it got to a point where it's toxic. Like, as good as it is, it could be something to very toxic about it, but it got you hooked on this person, and you have to fight yourself, because you like, I'm not about to throw all my everything that I'm working on with myself away just for some sex. Just to say, you know what I'm saying? Or just to keep an appearance or whatever. It, it, it might not even be something about sex. It, whatever this passionate thing is. You're not about to keep up face with it. Just to, just to say that you're keeping up face with it. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Okay? And, um... And going with, back to that Heather Headley song that I was feeling from this. In my mind, I'll always be your lady. I feel like that's the old Jay's coming back. He's like, forever mine. Okay. <laughs> He's like, forever mine, girl. Okay, like, somebody looking at you like you forever theirs as well. Like, even if y'all never come back together, they feel like no one can take your spot. They always got that special little space just for you. Like, no one can, like, when people come to their life, they can't do the same shit you can do. They handle you totally different as an individual. 
And then with these three nights coming out, your man ain't me, girl. I bet that he be acting all cocky like, like he deserves you. And you so lucky to be with him. Bet he be treating you rude, always got an attitude. Like he's the only dude made for you. But I get he got no, like me coming around, giving you things to think about. Cause I know what's up, yeah. <laughs> he say, if your man ain't stepping up, don't you think you should give him up? Cause he ain't worth your love. Stop tripping. I know you got a man, but girl, he's tripping. And I'm seeing the um, Bow Wow Baby, the music video. He's like, ain't you tired of the same old thing? Don't you think you need to let him know? You can't take it no more. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Can't you see? Your love is need to be with me. Oh, baby. Like, I, like yeah, somebody looking at it like, if you stay in cert a certain type of situation, it's just going to crash and burn. Beeping outside. Somebody's watching you. Another love or interest or something is watching you. And they like, if you stay in that situation and don't bring your ass over here, you're about to crash and burn. You're about to crash and burn. Go watch the Bow Wow Baby music video featuring Jagged Edge. And you're going to see what I'm talking about in that video. Okay? Chris Brown popping. Popping. I keep it on him. Popping. Okay. Like somebody want to come in, girl, I'm about to trip because you're my number one. Yeah, like you're somebody's number one. Beep it outside. Like, can't nobody take your spot. You keep it on and popping. Okay, and then Tina Marie, out on a limb. Okay, she said, ooh, baby, it's a mystery. Okay, she said, you got me sprung. She said, ooh, she said, Ooh, baby, here's a mystery. You got me spinning around. What have you done to me? I'm so insecure, but never felt so sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am out on a limb. Like, you feel like you going out on a limb for somebody. Like you say, you're not about to throw everything that for some way. Like, y'all could have been doing this for a while, but you feeling like, Baby, like you're going out on a limb. She said, I'm, she said, I feel so insecure, but yet I never felt so sure. What am I gonna do? Hey, I'm out on a limb. Okay. What am I gonna do? And I'm also hearing fire desire. You were cold as ice. Long ago, sugar, sugar, I wasn't very, very nice enough. Yeah, this person know they wasn't very nice, and they still come in with petty offers. You got all the knights out here. You got the knight of cups, <laughs> the knight of wands, <laughs> the knight of swords, and the knight of pentacles. I feel so insecure, but yet I never felt so sure when him I gonna do hey. <laughs> listen all these people want you to stay who sing that song stay who sings that because I'm hearing it in my head stay with me tonight oh oh and Cause I can't live without you, can't think without you. I'm begging you to stay, stay. I love you, even though I said that you could leave me. I want another chance to adore you. Hey, 
way Cause I still believe that you win me I, I took the time to see <laughs> He was like, I wasn't ready for you to set me free Forever I'll love away I wish I never told you you should leave Girl, you are the only one I need I know I put my whole life on the line Cause girl, you were the apple of my eye It took a little time for me to see That girl, I need you right here next to me Hey, I'ma let you walk away And but I ain't going out that way Listen, baby. <laughs> the like whatever, like I said, whatever these people place, they want you to stay. That is the main objective. Like they want you to stay, right? Put where you are at. Why do they want my collective to stay? You're the moon. I will cross the ocean for you. I will come and bring you the moon. I will be your hero, your strength, anything you need. I will be your star in the sky. I will count your tears for all time. Promise you, I promise you, for you I will, I will. You the moon to them. You the moons, the stars, the planets too. You that queen of swords. You got your foot on a neck and you mysterious. You got black cat energy. And you keep, you you put your foot on a neck. You don't kiss ass. You tell shit how it is and that's what the fuck is up. And they like that about you. They like that about you. That's why they want you to stay. Because you're not afraid to use that throat chakra. You're not, you're not afraid to tell somebody and read their ass. And you're not afraid to tell somebody, this ain't none of your motherfucking business. But since you fucking asked, or since you all up over here and want to know, have a seat, pal. <laughs> have a seat, pal. Let me let me kick it to you. I want to know what's on your mind. I like to know, I like to know. So I can be the one that always makes you smile. Make you smile, girl. 2707 on the clock. Tell me what I gotta do to please you. Uh, baby, anything you say, I'll do. Cause I only wanna make you happy. From the bottom of my heart, it's true. Hey, Katie wants to drop some burdens. I wish that I could take a journey through your own all right, and find the things that I always try to hide, girl. Oh, I do believe that there's a love you want to share. They think you're frightened about not wanting them. Take good care of you, lady. Have no fear. They come with night energy, bread coming energy. So you like, how the fuck are you taking care of me? <laughs> I take good care of you, lady. Have no fear. Stop fucking playing with me. So I like to know. Listen, they think they want to drop these burdens. They think you're still in love with them, even though they're trying to give you fake love and breadcrumb you. Like that's the craziest shit. And like I said they want you to stay stuck in this toxic ass shit. I can't make this shit the fuck up. of the bread crumb and why does the collective don't want to fuck with these knights we already know because <laughs> you all want to sell the common waters it's too toxic over there i'm hearing flint water <laughs> they got that flint water no no you know not trying to be funny because i'm in michigan look at baby listen and this person is too argumentative i'm hearing they a sassy ass man this is a sassy ass moody ass man like they want to do the silence. Like, they act, they, they're too much in their feminine energy. But at the same point, it's like toxic feminine energy because if you're going to be in feminine energy, tap into your emotions. Why are you sitting here wanting to be argumentative? Why are you being catty? Why are you playing silent treatment games? Why are you being mean? Why are you throwing shade? Why are you having a jealous spirit? Like, why are you being a sassy ass man? 
So yeah, you want to sell the common water. The fuck? What offers was on the table that the collective um, turned down? I just seen an ace of so um, ace of pentacles. So it had to do something with money, like a big opportunity that somebody's trying to present to you or something. But you like. I know it's a lot of bullshit that come with that, so I'm going to pass. Because all money ain't good money. You Whatever it was, like you was like, I'm going to pass. Or the last time I fucked with you, you played with my money, so I'm not even going to play with it. Yeah, because you already know when it come down to it, page of wands. All this person want to do is play in sex magic and play victim and play games. It's like, you, it's like the narcissistic, like, they get mad because you mad at some shit they fucking did. How the fuck you mad that I got mad at some shit you fucking did? And now you want me to apologize or make it right? Like, fuck no. Like, this, like, this is what I'm getting from this. So now this person is in their head because, like, nothing is working. That's why I said, I wish that I could take a journey through your mind. All right? And find the things that I always try to hide, girl. Oh, like, yeah, you like, because I know, like, you like, if I take that money, you feel like you pay for something. And I don't, like, you like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. You like, I'm good on that. What is this new contract about? What is this new contract about for my collective? What is this new contract about? Oh, Ten of Pentacles. This new contract is about your victory. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be no folly ass shit going on with this. This is really true fulfillment. You don't went through all the toxicity that you can go through beeping outside. All right? You done beat all the nights. You done beat all the nights. I'm here to kiss a couple frogs. I'm here princess and the frog. You had to kiss a couple frogs. Whether this is kissing ass, kissing frogs, kissing. People pleasing, whatever you want to call it. Not knowing your worth, whatever. You had to go through that, but now you at that point where it's like, okay, you don't went through all of that, so you good now. Um, what else is going on with this victory, with this um, four of wands? Hair five. Yeah, this is divinely granted from... Uh, <laughs> This is divinely granted from high above. This is divinely granted from high above. You earned it. Like I just fucking said. <laughs> what are some of the things that will be in this book? Or in this truth being told by the collective? What are some of the things that will be in this book or truth being told by the collective to the public? What are some of these things that will be in this book or truth told to the public? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Swords in the upright. I'm hearing um Corinne Stephens type shit. I'm hearing Corinne Stephens type shit. <laughs> this is going to be like a tell-all book or a tell-all thing. Like, you're going to be like, if people going to come ask you about dealing with all these type of people or things like, like, let's say, like, you was married to somebody. Like, I'm hearing, who the fuck did I marry? Like, and you got away. Like, you're going to have people coming to you like, did you date this person? How did you get away from the person? Da, da, da. Or if you're like in the industry, like with all this stuff going on with Diddy and stuff like that, they people gonna be coming to you like, well, wasn't you around? Did you work for this company? Wasn't you um, part of this um, glam squad? Or did you work at this department store? Or did you work um, as a culinary person for this? Like they gonna be like, wasn't you in the inside school? Was you the video person? Whatever it is, like it's gonna be like you gonna be telling it all. And you ain't gonna feel bad about it. Like, you like, I know the check gonna be all there. Or maybe you might start telling your story for free about this and it's gonna bring in some money or something like that. Take it how it resonates. And then people probably gonna wanna blow it up even more. But whatever it is, it's going to be about these situations, like I said, these situations in your life. 
dealing with these men. People, places, or things. Or like whatever like the, the obstacles was. Like it's going to be a tell-all book. And it's going to break a couple people's hearts. And it might even leave them bankrupt or something. Because some of these people could be married. Some of these people could be top-notch people in chairs. You know what I'm saying? And once you tell this motherfucking story, it's going to fuck some shit up. It's going to ramble some... Like, like I said, you're not into the rough and rugged, toxic-ass shit no more. You may be held a lot of secrets for people, but since people want to fuck over you, you like, what am I holding your secrets for? I'm hearing Jaguar right. I'm hearing some Jaguar right type shit. you like, what am I holding your secrets for? Child, listen. Child, listen. Oh! I ain't even see this right here. Yeah, you gonna get a ten of cups. You gonna have a like it's gonna be victorious. Whatever this is, is gonna be victorious. I'm here at Trump all. Like you trump all. You trump everything. You trump everybody. And I keep seeing this motherfucker one card up here and all the prayer cards over there. So it says the Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. Exodus fourteen fourteen. Ooh wee. If that ain't confirmation. So you know you cut off all these people, places, and things. God still got your back. <laughs> God still has your back. There will be no judgment on you because you already got all the judgment. I'm hearing this is your Carrie season. Okay. The scary movie Carrie when she go to prom. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing this y'all Carrie season. Some of y'all go watch some Carrie. I think they made a new one, but go watch the old school one. That girl had to go home and deal with her mama. And then she had to go to school with them kids and deal with them kids. The only person who had her back. But when she turned up on everybody, everybody want to call her the crazy person. No. Y'all picked on that girl for years and years and years and years and years. And she finally do one little thing back and now y'all want to have y'all little pennies in a bunch. Man, stop fucking playing with me. On top of the deck, not a pot to piss in. Some of these people ain't going to have a pot to piss in after you done with them. Like I said, you probably going to be stripping some of these people from their shit. And it says, don't get your hopes too high. Be realistic. Okay, okay, okay. Confirmation. <laughs> Be realistic. Like, don't get your hopes too high. Like, remember. Remember the information that I hold. Okay? Remember, remember my position in your life, baby. Like, stop playing. Mm. We're about to close this out. Can I get? What is this? I can get two different decks. Hold on. That is all the song cards. Okay. Who is this Knight of Pentacles energy in reverse? Cousins, in laws, aunts, uncles, cousins, in laws. We cool, but know your place. Family affair. So this could be family trying to play in your face. Angel number 185. Breaking down to a 14, going back to a 5. Change. So maybe you had to change some shit up with family and friends. What is going on with this Knight of Swords energy? What is going on with this Knight of Swords energy? Compass, Arizona 161. Arizona Sweet Tea. Where are you going with all those crooked letters? Yes, somebody wants to argue with you. They want to know where you going, where you at, why this, why that, why you want some why shit, motherfuckers, ask me why, I said why, ew, bitch, you like, bitch, I'm getting to the money, huh, nigga, fuck you talking about, motherfucker, like, ain't nobody got time to be arguing with you, I'm about to get to this bag, and I'm seeing, um, Anne-Marie, when she be like, what would you do if I put on you, on you, okay? 
stop in the reverse, 133. Don't get stuck. Where are you going? <laughs> no, what are you doing? Was it? Yeah, like I said, like, they fuck talking fuck talk about where you're doing. They want to know where you're going, baby. Fuck what you're doing. They want you to stop. Or even if they want you to stop, like, I'm hearing, like, this person stalking you, they following you, or got other people stalking you or following you. So, it's like, I'm not even going to tell her to stop. I'm about to just watch this motherfucker. And then they're going to call you and ask you, why this, why that? They're going to want to argue with you. Shadow work in the reverse, higher self versus lower self. There's work to do. Yeah, 155. This is somebody who is in their lower self. Like I said, these people want you to stay in this toxicity. Like, this is somebody who wants to argue with you. Period. Point in the fucking point. Like, so whoever is in your life right now who constantly is stirring the pot, constantly instigating, constantly trying to start some shit, that is who this Knight of Swords is. This Knight of Pentacles... This is the family members who don't want to help you. These are these aunts, uncles, cousins, in-laws who don't want to help you. They keep trying to fucking breadcrumb you. That want you to stick around and always want some shit for them. That's why everybody wants you to stay. Like I said, whatever this people-pleasing energy was, 40, 43, 40, 44 on my clock. What is going on with this Knight of Wands energy? Who is this Knight of Wands energy? The spider... The queen king of creation, the spider, all the insects that bring good luck. Ah, and that's crazy. Knight of Wands, like I said, somebody with this sex magic, the king, queen of creation, the spider, 125. So this could be a baby daddy, baby mama. This could be somebody who has a lot of kids. This is somebody who's always in sexual energy. They can have a tattoo of a spider or like spiders or a lot of spiders surrounds their house or in their home. Or every time you're around this person, it's something about spiders or they're trying to do something sexual with you. They're trying to always create something with you. Okay, that's whoever this Knight of Wands is. So whoever is always around you in sexual energy or always trying to create something with you, that's who this Knight of Wands energy is. They are the king or queen of creating that bullshit. Or they have a lot of kids. Like I said, they have a lot of kids. They use a lot of weighing energy. Who is this Knight of Cups? Scams and scandals. Are you down to play roles? Yeah, this is somebody who's always offering you some petty ass offer. It is never straight up and down. 182. You down to play roles. This person want to know, is you down to play roles? <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Get the hell away from all these people. I see, I see why you trying to get the hell away to common waters. I see. Turmeric. Incorporate more clays. Do, do some facials. Do some detoxing. Okay, I'm hearing, um, Vegetal, or if for my men, y'all can do that too. Do some type of um detoxing. I'm hearing armpits, thyroid, facials. I'm hearing the breast, the feet, clay bath, or something like y'all need to be working with some clays at this time. Some detoxing clays or incorporating clays into your food or something. Secrets in reverse. Secrets versus talk versus talk is cheap with no actions. Rumors. 154. So there could be some rumors going on around, around about you. There are rumors going on about you. 154. And these rumors could be inclu including these people. Like all these knights. Knights type of energy. Like these are the people doing the rumors. And it closed me out on both sides. So yeah. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I don't even know what type of reading this is. I probably just put this under urgent collective messages. All right. And you already know who it is. It's the Melanation Melanin Game. Melanin popping. Melanin taking over. Period. All right. All right. All right. My kings, my queens, my loves, my beepies. And if you haven't already, smash them buttons. She needs to be smashing. Okay. It's greatly appreciated, my babes. All right. And yeah. Gracias and ciao. See you in the next one.